This is Steam. This is the water surface. All that in a simple cup of hot water. In the perfect light conditions. Steam is water molecules that condense in the air to form the smallest clouds there are. If you look carefully, you might see colors in the steam. With a bit of luck, you can see this in nature, but let's force perfect light. Very hot water steam doesn't have too much color yet. But as the water cools down, the steam micro droplets get smaller. Perfect conditions for this phenomenon called iridescence. I will give a very simplified explanation. Here's a steam droplet. This is a light wave. It gets scattered by the steam droplets, resulting in waves coming from the sides. They interfere with each other, causing differences in brightness at certain angles. Each wavelength gets scattered by a different angle, and this creates the colors. This iridescence only happens with very small particles, so not normal raindrops. The interference angles change with the size of the droplet. So the droplets need to be roughly the same size for colors to appear. Because mixed colors look like white. With the same cup of hot water, much more can be seen on the surface. Swirling shapes and moving colors. The few papers I found about this are based on visual observations. And since that's what I've been doing, I dare to include many of my own findings in the following explanation. When you look at a bowl of hot water in the sun, you see these pretty structures on the bottom. Turbulence, caused by local temperature differences in the water, which varies the density, which bends the light. This turbulence also happens at the surface. On that surface rest countless micro droplets. They move along with the turbulence, revealing its shapes. The droplets come from the steam. They have fallen down on the surface. Perhaps because there was not enough updraft anymore, just like rain from clouds. They don't disappear because they are hovering above the surface. They look like pears, but that's just a reflection in the water. Why they keep hovering is not yet fully understood. One theory is the strong flow of the evaporating water. Another theory involves fast rotation of the droplets. But the most plausible theory to me is that they have a tiny electrostatic charge. That would also explain why they keep their distance, even when densely packed. The droplets don't evaporate because of the extreme humidity this close to the surface. Temperature, evaporation, air movement and electrostatic charge may all have an influence on how high a droplet hovers.
When the water cools down, the droplets get smaller and they get iridescent colors similar to the steam. But these moving colors have another origin. As demonstrated with this fake droplet and fake water, it's most likely that when the droplet almost hits the water, these two reflections interfere. The evaporation patterns cause the droplets to sink. And that's why only there the colors appear. Every out-of-focus droplet has its own rainbow colors. That shows how close the angle of the color difference is. Large groups of droplets vanish in a chain reaction. If a micro droplet falls into the water, like a normal droplet, it creates a tiny wave. This causes surrounding droplets to hit the water as well, which in turn creates more waves and a chain reaction is born. To see this in motion, you would need to film at at least 10,000 frames per second. Perhaps in a future video. Some droplets survived this chain reaction because they were higher above the surface. Maybe because they were smaller or had a different electrostatic charge, if that's why they hover. The optical phenomena in water are plenty. But this may be one of the least studied. So next time, take a closer look at your hot drink. Maybe you'll see something interesting. <coughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Interesting. Should have taken a closer look there.